Oh my god. What's up, guys? So, as you could see, I'm feeling a little bit better. Got my emergency and everything. <laughs> So it's 4th of July here in the United States. <laughs> Nowhere else, just here. <laughs> I, I usually don't do anything. I, I've never done like fireworks and all that stuff. I <laughs> it hurt my ears. I'm like, Ugh, shut up. It gets so loud. And I was like, I got to start filming like <laughs> right now, girl, because later you're not going to be able to hear me. It, it was so sad yesterday because you they already start doing fireworks sometimes even on the 2nd of july you could already hear them sometimes even in like december you, <laughs> you can hear people throwing fireworks and it's like yeah okay i guess <laughs> christmas in july hey but yesterday they started doing some fireworks and charlie was like he is he goes out of it it's not like he's it's not just like he hides or whatever and he's scared no he's out of it he wasn't even paying attention to his apple jacks <laughs> and he loves apple jacks i was like charlie look he's all and that was just yesterday that was a few fireworks now today but this video is not to talk about independence day i saw that movie that movie was not that good <laughs> Actually, I loved that movie. I don't know why I said that. I loved that movie. Bill Pullman was like my boo <laughs> back in the day. This video is to celebrate the official announcement of the President of the United States. <laughs> Cullen was finally shown like up close and personal. Even, I mean, not even my, 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 my frame shows him very well because he's dark he's like off in the corner and it's like kind of dark and you're like oh my god i want to see his face i want to touch his face <laughs> now you could just like lick the screen and feel happy about it and proud now you guys have to remember that these pictures aren't the way that it's it's all gonna look at the on the because it's still being produced and there's still an alpha so he's gonna look even better than this <laughs> My favorite picture out of all of them, though, I was laughing so hard when I saw it. I mean, just look at his face. I mean, he's literally just chilling in his pimp pad, like, I has all the bitches. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It was perfect. So let's read his little description. Cullen has seen the worst that magic and corruption can do to innocent people. Trained from a young age, he has devoted more than half his life in service to the Templar Order. He saw the Ferelden Circle fall during the Blight and was witness to the Mage Templar conflict that tore Kirkwall apart. In the aftermath, it was Cullen who rallied what remained of Kirkwall's Templars to restore order to the devastated city. His leadership and integrity caught the attention of Cassandra Pentagast, who recognized in him a vital component in forming the Inquisition. Now the world is falling into chaos. Cullen is through waiting for others to act, and he's determined that the Inquisition will make a difference for the people of Thetis. Uh, it caught the eye of Cassandra. <laughs> the eye of Cassandra. <laughs> that it caught Cassandra's eye. Um, that it? I'm in it now. I feel honored. <laughs> he caught the attention of Cassandra to form part of the Inquisition. I'm going to go more in detail about Cullen. Like, I really want to make a video about why I love Cullen. Because I get that question asked so much. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make a video and I'm going to tell you guys why I like Cullen. And it's not just going to be a video about me, like, squeeing and like, oh <laughs> I'm going to be serious about it because um, the whole like, oh my God, he's so hot is, is part of it. Yeah. But that's not the major reason why I love Cullen so much. So I really feel like I, I should um, put joking aside and really talk about the character because I, I, he, he deserves it. He deserves that explanation because a lot of people just don't get it. And a lot of people think that it's just because, oh, he's hot. That's the only reason why. 
And that's the only reason why Bioware put him in there. That's not true. There is a lot of story behind it and a lot of reason to why they brought him back. So I want to talk a little bit about that. My opinion, I'm putting this out there. I haven't even told her about that. Well, Ability Drain and I already had talked about this, uh, about maybe doing a video together or hopefully doing a video together. And this might be it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invite her. Now, she doesn't know anything about this right now that I'm saying this, but I'm sure that she'll be gun ho because she's a big defender of Cullen as well. I would love to do that video with Ability Drain, so look forward to that. So let me answer the question that I've gotten a lot since this announcement today. Um, what do I think about how Cullen looks like? Because he looks pretty different from Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2. And a lot of that has to do because it's a new engine and it's better graphics. So they can't, they can't take the template of the characters from the previous games and just like and <laughs> copy paste them into this into this amazing uh engine and have everything look like oh my god this looks so beautiful and then this this old engine template there and it's like i mean Varric looks really different so and and he looks awesome they did have to make advancements with the way the characters look they they they, they do look more realistic um like Cullen's spaghetti hair. I mean, come on. This looks more realistic with the way that Cullen's hair should be or would be. Now, one thing that I did notice, and I was like... <laughs> Cullen does not have blue eyes. Cullen has hazel eyes. I've always loved Cullen's eyes, and that's why I noticed it. Because I was like, oh no, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I think I felt dizzy. <laughs> but... Now, I'm sure you guys know by now that the Cullenites, I used to call them the Cullenators. I, I love the Cullenators. I like that word better. I tried changing it once. I would like, hashtag Cullenators. It's like, we have a Cullenite insider. She is our eyes and ears. You guys should know who I'm talking about. If you don't, watch my uh, E3 video where I sit down and talk to Bioware. Liz Lee Tonin is our eyes and ears. She is our Cullenite insider. She is a huge Cullen fan. But it seems like there is some kind of eye bug as well as hair bug um, in, the, in the templates right now. They're not done with, 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 the, with the game. So we have to remember it's still an alpha. So there, there still is a few bugs. I know one of the hair bugs is that it makes their hair look brown like a brownish, almost red. And I think that was what was going on with Varric, where a lot of people were like, oh my God, Varric's hair is red. Like what happened? He's supposed to be like a strawberry blonde. But if you look at other pictures, even Cassandra, in some pictures looks like she has like reddish hair, or like brown hair. And it's like, um, no, Cassandra has pitch black hair. It's, it's just like a color, color bug. And Mike Laidlaw already said that there is like a, a an eye color bug. Um, like Liliana's eye color and Cullen as well because um, Liz Lee Tonin said that that he is going to be exactly how we would t expect him to be. We can't judge them too harshly right now because it, they're not they're not fully complete. I like the way he looks. He's got scars. He looks more mature. He's, he looks older. I also love the confidence. He just looks so much more confident than he ever was. Even in Dragon Age 2, he was still struggling to, to know who he was. And in Dragon Age Origins, <laughs> don't even, let's not even mention that. I mean, he was like, he, he still was not, he was not ready for anything, especially for what happened. Even in that trailer where he raises his sword like that and you're just like, oh my God, that's Cullen. You know, it's it's almost like he's a leader now. And it's like, oh wow, I can't wait to see that. So one of my favorite things that, they, that they're demonstrating with him, even more so than the way he looks physically, is that confidence, that maturity that he's gained throughout the games. And we're, we're gonna, or, I'm already saying we're ability. You're you're part of this already, but I I, I that's one thing that we're, that I'm gonna talk about is just the way that that he's changed and how interesting it's going to be to see a character come to Dragon Age Inquisition that has act that we've actually seen 
throughout the games and actually we could tell that that difference and we could see that that change i mean he was this shy guy in origins that literally would just run off almost screaming afraid of <laughs> of the the amel of the of the of the female mage uh warden because he it, it just because she started flirting a little bit with him he's like oh and i mean what I mentioned before, obviously. Oh, hell's all the bitches. And I mean, look at that picture, dude. He looks like he's not gonna take any crap from anybody anymore. Like, he's like, what you say about my mama? Look forward to some more Cullen stuff. That's pretty much it. Check the description for the links to all this beautifulness. And happy Independence Day. If you don't live in the United States and you want to make a barbecue, why not? I'll talk to you guys later. Celebrate Cullen.